Well, good morning, my friend. I am here at the pond this morning. Beautiful Monday morning. The sun already risen. Little mud ducks uh, uh, lurking around the waters here. And I just wanted to, um, I had a great weekend. Uh, Saturday night, I got to go out and watch the sun set, and it was glorious. Um, if you guys know that song, Maker of the Heavens, Painter of the Skies, that's exactly what he was doing that night. He was with the clouds, the colors, the reflections off the water, just glorious. And then I got a call and an invitation to um, go to a church that I hadn't been to in a while where one of my friends is, and her husband was going to be ministering in the absence of the pastor who's traveling. So I went and saw them, got to have some fellowship yesterday, and while I was there, of course, you know, um, just always uh, have some divine appointments. Yes, we can have those even in the church. Yeah, because sometimes the Lord shows us stuff, and um, people just need encouragement. So when you're going to church, you're still salt and light. When you go to church, you can still strengthen the weary. When you go to church, you can still be a word fitly spoken in season to a person who needs it. So when you're going to church, just don't go with your hands open. Go with your hands full and bless somebody. Anyway, um, enough about that. <laughs> but one of the things that I was, it was stirred up in my heart was just realizing, you know, and thinking about again, that the Lord's always looking for opportunities to reach the hearts of men. Mankind. Um, it says, Behold, I stand at the door. And I knock, and he's waiting, and he waits. He can come to us in our times of high cotton, our times of blessing. He can come to us in our times of gratitude. He can come to us in our times of weakness. He can come to us in our times of lack. But a lot of times people only turn to him when they're, when they're lacking and or when there's situations and circumstances that they realize their resources they've run out of. They don't have the answers, and then they're like looking for the Lord, like a 911 call, like an emergency. Right? But the Lord wants us to be, as believers, ready and waiting for those divine opportunities, those opportunities where he opens up, our, opens up a conversation. For instance, right now, we're going to have a lot of opportunities just because of this time and this season. I was at the store, and there was a little sign right next to the register that said, Wise men still seek him. Oh, that's a conversation starter right there in line. I didn't even have to try. And even if I'm just talking to myself, wise men still do seek him. I love that sign. It's still catching attention, and ears are still, and you might get people chiming in, or you might realize through that that all of a sudden there's your divine appointment. So yesterday when I was out, out, I painted this, ambassadors of the Almighty. You are ambassadors of the Almighty. And so um, go be salt and go be light, my friends. The heavens were declaring through the angels, peace on earth and goodwill toward men. You got good news. Go share it. Bye for now. Have a great and glorious love. Go the victory.